In this video, we're going to talk about the best neighborhoods for expats in Medellin. Welcome to How to Expat. My name is Sam. And my name is Tasha. And our mission is to help expats or soon-to-be expats to start a journey, avoid gringo prices, and settle down hassle-free. In this video, as the title says, it's all about the most popular or the best neighborhoods uh, or expat neighborhoods in Medellin. We will start with El Poblado. So this is El Poblado, one of the richest or the richest regions in Medellin. So here you find all the fancy restaurants, bars and whatever you're looking for. And what I love the most here is the greenness. You have a lot of trees here, a lot of nature into the city and it's like not that the city is like the city is built into the nature and not that the nature is baking like they put the nature into the city like you know what I mean so I love this really about Poblado and it's a really safe area so you don't have to worry about safety but still you always have to be aware of your surroundings so I'm here currently at Parque Geras. This is the park where most foreigners uh, come or this is the place where most foreigners come here to Medellin. Um, yeah, as you might can see, there are a lot of restaurants around, a lot of clubs, uh, yeah, which a lot of people go uh, during the weekday, but especially during the weekends. Another part is the Calle 10, which is near the Parque Geras. This is where a lot of, uh, a lot of companies are, a lot of stores are. Surely the two downsides of El Poblado is that it's very hilly, so if you like to walk everywhere you go, uh, it's, it can be quite uh, hard in El Poblado. And the other thing is that the metro station is quite far from the action, so uh, you probably have to take a taxi or an Uber if you want to go there. Otherwise you have to walk up a steep hill as it is in Poblado to get to the main areas if you arrive with the metro. So Poblado is surely the most popular neighborhood for expats in Medellin, but the most expensive as well. So we are out in Aveles, which is also a famous expat and tourist neighborhood. It is more a flat area, also really green and has a lot of stores and restaurants here. Arenas is a nice central located neighborhood which is pretty safe but still you should avoid walking around during night in empty streets. Unfortunately it does not have a metro station but since there are a lot of nice bars and restaurants near you don't have to go so far away for it. And also it is the second most popular neighborhood especially for younger expats. So in conclusion you can say Laredas is for the active people who want to be in a trendy neighborhood but don't want to spend so much as in Poblado. So we're here in the Estadio, which is also a famous neighborhood for tourists but also expats and also it's really famous because of the huge um, sports area and also the street called La Setenta where you find all the bars and the restaurants during night where you can party all night long. Estado is a nice area where mostly working people are living because it is also less expensive compared to Laureles. It is near to Laureles, that's why a lot of people say Laureles Estadio because they're so near to each other, but still they have some differences like Calle 70 where you find a lot of bars and restaurants and have a lot of soccer games going on because of the huge sports fields there. The great thing is also that Estadio has a metro station in the heart of it, so it's pretty much walkable from everywhere. So you can say Estadio is for people that want to be near La Setenta and also like to see or do sports and also don't want to spend as much as they would in Laureles. So we are here in Envigado. Envigado is a neighborhood uh, south of uh, El Poblado. And they, uh, Envigado is more a residential uh, area. And it's more or less divided into two areas. Most of experts, when they say they stay in, in Envigado, they mean La Frontera, which is very, very near to El Poblado. But the rest of Envigado is around the park uh, of Envigado, around the church. And it's more uh, a residential, more Colombian, traditional Colombian neighborhood. Envigado consists of pretty much two different worlds. One is the flat area around the park and the other one is the hilly part which is very very similar to El Poblado. 
And the hilly side is where most expats are. The hilly side consists of many skyscrapers. Uh, they're like gated communities there. Then Envigado is a more or less safe neighborhood. Also, uh, a lot of residential feel there. Um, especially on the hills, it's very, very safe. And it's a little bit cheaper than El Poblado. Envigado is nice, especially if you want to escape the hustle and bustle of El Poblado, but still want to be close and have a similar feel. So this is Saboneta, a more traditional neighborhood of Medellin. Um, it is a mix between Pueblo, which means small town, and the big city. So Sabaneta, like Envigado, has a hilly side where most expats live and a flat area which is more traditional. The hilly side also, uh, like in Envigado, consists of many skyscrapers which are like gated communities. And yeah, the flat side is more uh, where, where the traditional area of uh, Sabaneta lies. Uh, Sabaneta, the downside surely is it's a little bit far from everything. It's far from, from El Poblado, El Centro or uh, Laureles. So, but another, uh, an advantage is surely that it's very near, on the flat area, it's very near to two metro stations. So if you live near there, you're not too far off. Sabaneta is surely not for the party people. It's quite far off from every big club, disco or uh, upscale bars or restaurants. A great thing though is that it has the nicest park in the Medellin area. Prices are quite low in comparison to El Poblado and a lot of other areas, uh, but maybe you have to spend more on transport because you have to commute more to the, to the central areas. So we're here in Industriales, which is a common neighborhood for expats. It's really modern, you have a lot of great clinics here and everything is really near. Like for example the metro is just a few minutes from away from all the skyscrapers and also you'll find everything here. So you can find restaurants, you can make your grocery shopping and everything just nearby. What really stands out in Industriales is the huge Banco Colombia building. It is a relatively new area and has a lot of skyscrapers. There are a lot of new restaurants, bars and malls also and Industriales in general is pretty central located. So prices compared to Poblado are pretty much similar because it is a pretty new area. So if you want to find out even more about Medellin, we offer a special video course. When it's available we have it in the link in the description down below. There you'll find out even more about uh, Medellin and the neighborhoods. You'll put the, uh, what you can expect from cost of living there, what you can expect from uh, uh, how much is the rental cost there, how much is the house and all that. It's really for the people that really have decided and, and are, a step, uh, are a step further uh, on deciding if Medellin is something for them. So make sure to check it out in the link in the description box below. And if you want to see more videos like that, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, leave a like. And if you have a question, leave them in the comments below.